Johannes Bosco School in Jogjakarta strives to be the top junior high school in the city by being the leader in student services. While a Catholic institute modeled after the Dominican Sisters of Indonesia, the school provides a welcoming environment for all children. Whether in the classroom or in the courtyard, students were engaged and active. Our visit focused on the reading habits course and the library. Each week, the students attend Reading Habit, a class in which students read novels and write book reports. The goal is to utilize pleasure reading to improve literacy. Different from the schools we are familiar with, the role of the librarian is not to engage in any instruction or assist staff with curriculum or technology, but rather to be the keeper and organizer of the knowledge. Though the school librarian and the reading habit teacher are not required to have formal education or training for their positions, they are among the most respected members in the educational community. We had the chance to sit down with these educators and ask them some questions. Do you have any goals for the library? What you'd like to see in the future? Any changes that you'd like to see? Saya punya keinginan. Ini tempatnya kurang luas. untuk untuk ukuran apa standarnya perpustakaan SMP memang masih kurang luas dan juga jumlah bukunya masih kurang juga sarananya memang masih belum memadai ya. misalkan kayak apa pembelajaran dengan LCD di uh, di perpustakaan ini atau anak-anak bisa seperti uh, apa mencari buku sendiri karena memang kami baru berproses untuk membuat inkubnya apa dengan memakai senayan yang dari pemerintah itu database-nya itu jadi anak-anak bisa mencari sendiri dan uh, fasilitas internet memang belum ada and for reading habit um, what goals do you have do for example do you try to get the students to read more difficult books as you go through the year or do you have an, a certain number of books that you try to get them to read how does that work untuk tahap awal membiasakan dulu memiliki supaya karena mereka awalnya tidak suka membaca jadi dibiasakan dulu kalau sudah goalnya itu sebenarnya membuat buku supaya antologi cerpen dan antologi naskah uh, what kinds of books do you read Novel. Yeah. The assignment is for a reading novel. Novel. Okay. What are some examples of novels you've read recently? Like Harry Potter. Ah, yeah. Harry Potter. The translation. <laughs> the translation of Harry Potter. Yes. 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 Did, did the students like Harry Potter? Yeah, sure. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the mention of Rowling's series showed the universal nature of children. While the selection of nonfiction is curriculum based, student interest drives the selection of fiction titles. Quality educators put the needs and interests of their learners above all else. And the children in this Indonesian school are more like our students than we would have ever guessed. We as educators combat the fact that as students age, they are less likely to read for pleasure. The students did enjoy reading comics, young adult literature, and the current trend of horror and adventure. As they grow, other extracurricular activities, hobbies, and chores tend to take the place of simply reading an afternoon away. Sometimes our students may take having books for granted. Sakar and Danny were quite proud of their books, which are often expensive and hard to come by. So like that famous boy wizard, some qualities cannot be lost in translation.
Once an educator can see a student as an individual with needs and feelings, you can find a way to instill that passion for reading and learning that ultimately leads to success and a better future for everyone.